this is exactly my point. Uh, this comment is on a video where I talk about you shouldn't use AI to document your code. You should document your code yourself. The reason being, if you look at someone's code and then try to derive documentation from that, you won't exactly know intent. You might get things wrong. So in this example, you talk about like AI isn't able to determine if the code is a bug or a feature. This is very true. Have you ever heard the term undefined behavior? Well, how do you define the behavior? The documentation is what does it. And if it's not documented, it may work one way, it may work another way. Imagine code without documentation, like the whole thing is undefined. I might be able to infer how it's supposed to work, but I can't know for certain. You see this a lot if you ever work on a shim layer or a compatibility layer, or let's say you have some sort of API out there and you want to copy it. You want to provide something where it's like API equivalent, um, where it speaks the exact same language. So you can just point your server, your client from like this server to my server. And as long as you speak the same API, it's going to work. Um, that's great if you make your feature complete, but what if the API that you're copying doesn't have documentation or it works one way, but it's not technically documented. Are you feature compatible? Are you bug compatible? Cause there's probably some clients on there that are relying on some behavior that's not technically documented, but is consistent from the existing API. So there's like so many questions to answer. And a lot of these problems just go away. If you document, it's just as simple as that document your code guys.